Today we're unboxing Tang Garden from Thunder Griff Games, our newest edition from Kickstarter. I'm Mark Maya, welcome to Board Game Coffee. Alright, well let's start with something I haven't said in a while, but let me get that box. Ugh. Box number one. Box number two, and box number three. And that's not it. And numerous random objects. Now, if you've watched the show before, you're probably looking at these boxes and wondering, hey, where's the brown box that came in? Well, short answer is, the world outside's a dangerous place at the moment, and in the process of disinfecting everything, we just eliminated that box that this that this came in. And the box came in with contact with a lot of people on its way from wherever it came to here, so we just disposed of it. Just being safe, stay home, and staying safe. Um, which is what we have to do in a world where we can't leave our house and cut our own hair. Okay, so, um, let's, let's start unboxing some stuff. And we'll get to those in a second. Okay. And let's open up this bad boy. Oh man, this game is, is just too pretty. It's too pretty. There's, I don't know if there's such a thing as being too pretty, but that's what this is. It's, it's just, I know I've said it before, it's too pretty. Um, this Tang Garden, here's the story. First of all, Tang, Gar Tang Garden's an early Kickstarter game that I backed as far as like my kickstarting addiction started and uh, this was one of the first games I backed based on appearance alone I I saw it I saw the little gazebos or whatever they're called these things pagodas gazebos whatever I just saw the board and I fell in love with it instantly I had no idea how to play it, and I backed it like that. That was, I've done that again since. You know, see a game with cool minis, and I'm like, oh, I'm there. Um, but this, this is the first one. I saw it, it was pretty. I remember Brittany asked, ooh, what's it about? I was like, I have no idea. Something about a garden, and there's pagodas and little 3D bridges, and like, it's so pretty. That's all I kept saying. What's it about? I don't know, but it's so pretty. And here it is, and it's taken forever. So, <laughs> It's, it's been a long time. It's been a long time waiting for this puppy. So, let's do this. Let's get in there. Oh, it's a tight light. It's gonna be a good one. All right, let's enjoy it. Let's enjoy it. It's never gonna end. That was the sound, the sound of freshness. Or a weighty a whale's mating call. But it starts here. Look at this box art. It's just gorgeous. Like, whoever put the aesthetics of this game together just freaking nailed it. It looks great. I like the... It's like you got this circular window here looking into this full-color environment, and then here you have all this, like, just simple illustrated um outlines it's so just so pretty okay let's see what we got in here what's this punch boards can be found below the insert oh well if you've seen any of our videos you know i would have looked out of that insert anyways i wonder why they wrote that in there has there been a lot of problems with that people testing it being like what are the inserts i don't know this is a big book like, as in, it's, it's circumference. No, it's not, not circumference. It's uh, surface area. That's what I meant to say. It's surface area. It's just large. Um, but it's thin. But here's the thing. I've already read this. And here's another thing. Fun fact, this is the first unboxing ever that I'm going in prepared. And not that I prepared so I could do the unboxing, but usually I open these up and I have no idea what's going on. 
Well, these these two are surprised. I forgot these were coming. I have no idea what this is. But this, I read I read the rules. This is the first unboxing ever where I've read the rules. I know how to play this game before I took it out of the box. This is it. And I'm so excited because I knew it was coming in the mail. I don't want to play it as soon as possible. So I was like, as soon as this unboxing is done, if there's time tonight, as soon as I've finished filming this, I want to play this. If I can get Brittany to play with me. She likes to go to bed early. Anyways, uh, let's see what we got in here. Is there anything here? What is that? Hmm. Looks like storage for something in there. Ooh. Oh, the board's nice. Look at that. Can I fit that on screen? It doesn't, like, not every little inch or centimeter fits on screen, but you're getting the, that's pretty much all of it. So, I I just love the simple outlined artwork on this. Just, we can just, everything on this, I just, sorry, everything in this box, I could just look at it and admire the artwork. It's great. So these areas here, I know there's, like, tiles that you put on the board, but they each have these patterns, like the yin-yang, the leaf the stone and the water and then you stack them there. I think that's water. Yeah, it's blue, it's water or wind. It's water, it's water, one with water. Anyways, that's where the tiles stack and you start building your garden from there. And then it's great because this starts like, there's, there's no color here other than the, well, there's white, there's like shades of gray, white, and black, you know, all shades and some gold highlights, that's it. And then you got some colors around these as indicators that that's where those go. But it's so just pretty. And it's got these little grooves in here. I know those are for the, uh, I forgot what they're called, like landmarks or something. Ooh, those look, those are nicer than the ones I saw. The ones I saw was only a prototype, as in like online. Those are nice. I like it though, the, they got the die cut. So these are your player boards. And this is for the red player. Blue, green, and yellow, so I guess you play four players. And I know your little cubes go in these little holes. And here's your different elements of the garden, your water areas, your grassy areas, or forested areas, whatever you wanna call it, uh, and your rocky areas. And as you improve certain areas, you go up this track. And as once uh, three of those tokens pass these things, like once all three pass like that one, for example, then you, you'll unlock uh, another character because you start with one, and then you'd unlock this guy, and then that guy, and then et cetera. You go down, that's that's money. That's new from the prototype demo I saw. The money here, that's cool. So that's how that works. And you keep your lanterns here, and they got all these special powers. All right, this is not a how to play. Sorry, I just got too into it. You know, maybe it's best that I don't learn how to play these, because we go through it faster, because I want to play this, but I just can't stop talking about it now. Oh, you know what? We're not gonna open these cards now. We're gonna open these cards when we get in close. And then we'll do all that at the same time. So we got some cards here, and there's just loosely wrapped. These are your character cards. Here's your decoration cards. Uh, what do we got here? I don't know what those are. Hmm. And here is, oh, this is the, what are they called? Is it pagodas? Is it, um, I don't know what a pagoda, a pagoda's a thing. I don't know if it's the right thing. Is it just, uh, I already forgot what the other thing was I called it. It's, it's late here and I'm sleepy, which reminds me. Ah, okay. It's tasty. It's good coffee. Um, ooh, we got some minis. Pretty simple minis, but this is not the kind of game where you really focus on the minis. You're focused on the beauty of the garden you're building. I don't know what all these are for. Ooh. Big chunky wooden cubes. Some, oh, these are to mark your uh, character bases. The minis are tiny, there's like mini minis. Not, a, I think it was it, seventh content that has a really mini minis. Okay. And they weren't lying. Ah, there's the uh, punch outs. Okay, let's see, we got, yeah. These are thick. Everything about this seems quality. Let's 
really, it's, it's like heavy. Like that's just one sheet. This is a heavy piece of cardboard. Just put that over there. Right? Oh, here's your coins, which if there's an, there's a heavy bag here. I'm guessing I upgraded to metal coins. So these are your coins. That's your first player token. And these are your, it's like you have these lanterns that give you like special abilities that you can use once per game, but you can spend landmarks, I think, to get them back. Yeah, here's, there's more of them there. And these are, I think they're landmarks is what they're called. But you pick these up off the board. There's large landmarks and small landmarks or areas or I forgot, or terrain, I don't know. Um, and then you that's that's the stuff that goes around the perimeter of the board that stands up. It's pretty. And then here's all your little different environments. We'll get closer in on those. Is he double-sided? Oh yeah, they are. That's right, because these these are the match the symbols that were on the board, so these go in that corner, that goes in that corner, etc. And they all go face down and you flip them up so you don't know what's coming. So this is the this is I like, how can I say this? I like the idea that you have this colorless board that you're filling with those beautiful patterns and colors. Here it is, whatever this is called. These are the things that go in the, on the horizon, the edges of your board that surround your garden. Everything about this game. Oh, that's just one thick board. I thought it was two, I was trying to separate it. So, so thick um, and so pretty. We'll see those up close. And there's more of it. These are the large ones. They go in the back. We'll attach one to a board. You know what? Here, let's attach them to a board now. I'll show you. Okay. Let's put some stuff aside. Now, this is what I was trying to tell you. You get these big ones, right? And they plug into here, in the back. And then you build this scenery on the edges of your board. And then the small ones, let's pop that right out. The small ones, get in there. The small ones go there. See, it's cool. And that happens all around. That's neat. Okay, so we'll put those temporary. For now, we'll just put those over here. And then let's get in close and see the tiny things. They came in this pretty, pretty box. All right, when camera's in place, let's check out some stuff. So here are the character boards. Get you, they go this way. Seem nice and close. I love the, the die cut things, because the little wood pieces, let's look at those next. Little wood pieces. There. They just fit so nice in there. So good. So that's how that would work. Everything about this game just feels great. Like these, even these wood pieces are like bigger than your average normal wooden cubes you get in a game. Okay, let's put those aside. Let's move these over here right now. Now, what are these? I'm curious. And all the play, uh, all the playthroughs and play videos I've seen of this are all pro based on the prototype. So I don't know what these do. Those look cool. Are these for these things? Ooh, they may be for these things. I think they may be part of the assembly that builds these. Did this flip open or anything? I feel like there's not enough here to make this happen. Are these part of it? How? How does this? How does that? Hold on. We're gonna check it out in a sec. First. So we get these things. So those little circles mean that when you uh, put your characters out on the, your minis out on the board, minis can go wherever those little circles are. So we get a bunch of those. Let me figure out what those do in a second. What's that? And I got a bunch of these. Oh. Two of these make one of those symbols. But I don't know what this does. Unless this is like a hero quest situation. Remember in hero quest there was like plastic bits on the ends and then the, the middle pieces were cardboard. So check those. There must be, that's what I'm guessing is the rest, like the middle material. Cause I think that 
is the base to these, and then there's a middle cardboard bit that you'd fold in there. That's my guess. And this, maybe for the bridge, because I know there's bridges. We'll find out. Keep those aside. Yeah, other, other than the symbols, there's not, not much to those. But I do like these. So these are all plastic. And I want to assemble one. Let's look at the tiles. Let's look at some of these environments that we have. Look how gorgeous this is. I'm just going to zoom in and then I'll we'll pull back. Amazing art. It's so, so pretty. And the colors, like everything is pretty. The composition, the colors, the, the, the everything, the idea of it, the, it's so, it gives me this nice warm feeling inside. I can't, I'm, I'm tired. Did I mention I was tired? I'm having a little trouble speaking. There's the smaller landmarks. I don't think it's landmarks. I don't think that's not the right word. I forget what they're called. Ooh. Which is how the rule book would say. They're landscapes. Small landscapes and large landscapes. And that's what they are. I was close. I almost had it. And let me poke out. See. Here's what those look like. I'll poke, poke some out to look at them a little closer. But that's what your punch boards are going to get. Pop out some of these trees. And like, I can't get over how thick these are. These are really chunky pieces of cardboard. So if this is anything like photosynthesis, bam, look how pretty. I don't know what that tree's called, but look, it looks so pretty. All right, so put that there. Let's assemble one of each. Get out of your hole. see that one individually. Got like a cherry blossom type of deal. And we have these orange ones, which are pretty, but look like something out of a horror movie. A very colorful horror movie. The same on both sides. So just stick them in there. There you go. And then you have your, oh, there's two basic types of green trees, looks like. And there's your pieces. And then we assemble. Huh, cute little forest we got going there. And then, this is our last of the trees. Give it, and these guys. All right. You want good quality card work? <laughs> you want good quality cardboard? You're gonna have to put in the work to punch them out. I think it's some of the things are gonna be fun. They are super secure in there. They're like, these guys are not falling out. All right, and now let's just pull out some of these. Which ones have you seen? Let's just punch, are they all different? I think, oh, they're all different. Let's get a good look at them then. I think they're the same one both sides, like they're double-sided and they're the same on both sides. Okay, right. let's just take a look at these. I'll take a look at these quickly, and if you want to pause to look at them closer, feel free. Yep, yeah, they're both same on both sides. And these are the type of land uh, landscape this is represented by that icon. So I'm assuming that's like wildlife Waterfalls, we have the waterfall icon. Wow. The color on that. Fantastic. Brittany takes a lot of our photos. Not all of we, but we kind of split it, but she's going to love taking photos of this. They 
looks so just peaceful and tranquil. I love that they're like, they're die cut. They're not just like rectangles. Oh, and if you've been watching the videos, my fingers were falling apart for a while, and it was a little, you know, a little skin condition that was happening due to stress, possibly, or something in the environment. I don't know what it was. But since I've been in quarantine, they've healed up, because I forgot to use my medication, and they've healed up on their own. And they're getting better. That They're not 100%, but that's crazy. Okay, so let's put those over there. Let's take a look. These are the large landscapes. There's some more trees on here we should have to look at because we've already seen them. Just pop up the landscapes. Put those aside. Ooh, dragons. Those are nice. I want to see the dragon close up. That'd be badass to have like a dragon wrapped around your house. Mm, looks so cozy. Oh, there's another dragon. These are long dragons. Oh, we got a red dragon here. I got Alex upset. The scenery is just gorgeous. Look at that. That's a great vacation spot. Oh, that that guy knows that somebody's taking his photo. Or painting his picture, I meant. I mean. So those are all the landscapes, large and small. Coffee's cold, by the way. Um, we love our studio, but it's really chilly here really fast. Did you guys see this one? This one, get away from us. It's one of the small ones. Okay, I mean, we got these. Now, I'm not gonna show you all of these um, individually. We're just gonna kinda do a scroll. Let me get these trees out of the way. I hope these trees fit in the in the box like that, because for photosynthesis they fit like that, which was handy, so you didn't have to assemble them every time. So let's hope that's the case here. So these are your garden tiles that you're gonna be placing. Now here's the that, the last row, we'll just flip it over for that. And these symbols here are what you can build there. I don't remember exactly what they mean, but it's like, I don't know if you can drop birds there. And I know that's where you can drop a character. Or maybe it's trees you drop there. Maybe it's trees. I think the decoration tells you. I think that's it. The decoration will tell you that, like to place a, a gazebo, you would need like one of those, you can only place it on a tile that has one of that, those symbols. Pretty sure that's how it works when I remember reading. Okay, we got some more of those. And then if you match sides, you get extra points. Of the tiles. And you also generate money, which is how you score at the end. I believe you count your, if I'm, remember, bleh, if I'm remembering the rules correctly, you score based on the money you have. First of all, I like this little boat. Oh, you can put a player there. You can stand on the boat. And I think those areas there, that's where you can put the bridges. So these 3D bridges you can put across those little spots, which is nice. And then here's the back. There's should be four of these different symbols. There's two of them. It's for the stone, it's for water. And then the other ones will probably be on the back of the ones that I already got rid of. Oh, there's one here. It's the little yin yang symbol. First, let me get rid of this other cell. Where is it? Where's the last symbol? Ah, there it is. It's the greenery tile. These are the back of these tiles because that is the back of the lanterns. Once you use your lantern special ability, you flip it to that side. Oh, and that's the starting tile. It's double-sided and apparently you can use whichever side you want. 
and there's the landscape tokens. You collect those off the board to uh, build your landscape, which is those, like I mentioned, those stand-up parts that go around the board. So the front and the back of those look the same. And there is the front of your lanterns. Different powers. That one lets you move your character on the board. That one lets you choose or choose the character when you're, is it you're initiating them? Can't remember what you're doing. When you're collecting characters, when you're getting new characters. And that lets you play two decorations at once and that lets you play two tiles at once because normally you can only play one. And here's some other tiles with some special tiles that have walls. Okay. And there's some more of our, oh, what are these? Oh, I think these are for, these are probably for single player because I don't recall these showing up in the um, section of the rule books I read. But I did stop reading it when I got to the solo player part just because I wanted to play sooner. I didn't want to read more to get started. That's the first player token. I wonder if there's an upgrade to that. That seems like it'd be a cool thing to upgrade. And there's our money tokens. You just, I, I can punch one, two of these out. So that's, whoa. So that's what they look like. Same on both sides. Just poke one out of each. There's only three of them. So that was your one piece. That is your five. Yep, same on both sides. Oh, there's four pieces. I'm a liar. There's your 10. And then your mighty 20. I got the 20's got little dragons in it. Well, what, why does our money have dragons on it? I say our money. Canadians, we need more dragons in our money. It doesn't have to make sense. It just has to be cool, right? Put Spider-Man on there while you're at it. Spider-Man, not Spider-Man. Okay, so these are decorations that you can place. Let me just pop those guys out because there's only four of those. So we look them up close. This is like the lotus flower that you can float in the water. These are also very thick. All the cardboard in this is very thick. There's a little... Um, Little birdhouses you can place in your garden to attract pretty little birds. You got some fish to put in your pond. I'm assuming koi. And then you got... I don't know what those are called. But more pretty flowers. It's like... Peno something... Penonese? Peanut? Peanut? I don't remember. And then, oh, I, oh these. Check it out. So this is a repeated pattern here. I'm guessing this is our gazebo. So let me see, I'll try to assemble one of these. So that goes there. Need another one. Uh, oh, does the green go up? Does the, uh, I'm gonna guess that way. Goes there. This goes in here. Sneak it in the middle there. Ah, here you go. So that assembles like so. I'm guessing you can put that in here. Ooh, these are fun to build. Okay, so there it is. There is your gazebo assembled. I like it. Looks cool. And you can put the characters in the gazebos, which are neat. That's what that little symbol in there is for. Cool. That's gonna look so pretty on the board. Keep that there. And we got these. I don't know what these are. I think it's the Emperor's icon. Oh no, I know what these are. If you get to a situation where you can take a character, a new character, but you can't, you can't for some reason, like there's no place to place place them or for some other reason then you take one of these as like an IOU then you can use it later to get a character and I believe that's the Emperor's photo on there and those are the same on both sides and what is this oh this is the bridge right where's those other pieces so I'm assuming this goes like like that there you go it fits and then we put that one on the 
this side. And I hope I, I hope I'm building these right and not causing any damage. Just afraid to push too hard and break something, especially if these aren't supposed to go together. But I think they are. And what gives me that impression is the Oh, those are snug, is that symbol coming together. That's what gives me the impression that that's how it goes. Because if you put those symbols together, or those two halves together, that makes the symbol where the character is placed. When you get your character, like you can set them in the gazebo, you can set them on top of there, or stand them on top of there. So those bridges go on your map. It's pretty. Okay, so that is for, that's it for the tiles. And now, oh, let's look at some of our hero cards. Our hero cards, our character cards. Oh, first of all, they've got that nice, there's a name for it, that texture. It feels nice, but they, it shows wear easy. But I do have sleeves. Let's use those. Gotta keep this game pretty. It's too pretty not to keep it pretty. Oh, the colors look so be the curl, bleh. The colors on the artwork is beautiful. So the backs are all the same. I like the shadowing on that. It really makes it pop from the background. Ooh. And if you start with this character, you get a bump in that on your, basically on your player board. He get a he starts with one green because he has that. And these are all their bonuses. So basically, when he's active, so when his fit mini is not on the board, when his mini's off the board he gets these bonuses. But when he's on the board, he'll get these bonuses at the end of the game. That's how it works. And they mean different things. Like here's, I'm not gonna read them all, but this is like if you place a gazebo or a bridge, he gets two coins. And if he's on the board at the end of the game, he gets three coins for every one of that symbol he's looking at. And those are the landscapes in the distance. So if he's got line of sight to those, he gets points for that. So let's just look at the characters. So I'm zooming in. I know this is 4K, so you guys can probably see it pretty good already, but I'm looking at it on this little tiny screen. It's the Emperor. Ooh, the Empress. She's pretty. Oh, I like the Hermit. He looks neat. The Lady. All the ladies are so pretty. Ooh, and the gentlemen are so handsome. There's his power. His power looks complicated. I'll investigate what they do when I play. The monk, he looks pretty cool. I always enjoy playing the monk in video games where the, the monk is an option. The officer. Ooh, I like the poet. Sir. Oh, they changed the poet to a female. In the early prototypes, the poet was a male. I didn't miss that, right? There's no blue poets, is there? No, they changed it. I like her better anyway. She got gentleness in her eyes. Ooh. Sword Dancer. Okay, so those are all the character cards that you can choose from. These are pretty basic. I'm making a mess. Putting stuff away later is gonna be like, which box did that come from? Did that even come in a box? I don't know. These are pretty basic, but really tiny. I've probably seen these in a lot of other miniature games, but these are teeny tiny, and they're a full base. Usually it's just a ring. Those snap onto the bottom of your minis. Put those over there. Uh, let's move these aside. Let's open up these. Oh, there's more. Let's open up these. So now these are your decoration cards. You can play at minimum two per turn. 
at maximum, I think it's four. Depends on how many tiles are flipped over. When, when you read it, you'll see. Oh, actually, we might do a playthrough of this. Watch that. That's what we'll do. We'll do a playthrough. Yeah, I'm commi committing to that right here on this video. So these are the back of the cards. They all look the same. This fish motif they have going. Okay. So I'm going to flip through these really quick because there's going to be a lot of similar cards. So we'll just stop on the ones that look similar. See, and the cards like the, these decorations at the end score you points. So basically you grab one of these cards, place it in front of you, and then you take the little koi icon, in this case, like this thing, and you put that in the garden. And it does other things, earns points, etc. But, uh, at the end of the game, this card, having it alone, is worth zero coins. But if you combine this with a bird, it's worth six coins. So each set of these are worth six coins. And coins are points. So those are your fish cards, and there's your birds. Look how pretty they are. Oh, you little cute guy at the top. I love the colors. Everything's so just bright and pretty. This is just a beautiful game. Oh, peonies. That was the flower. That was close. I was right about the lotus. And we got a good old pine tree. A peach tree. Had a peach tree once growing up. My mother cut it. Because it wasn't growing any peaches. I also had a cherry tree. That was my... That was my responsibility to take care of. And you know what? He grew plenty of cherries. Take that. Ah, willow. Oh, there's somebody standing underneath it. It's a big tree. What's this? Wisteria. Wisteria? I don't know what it is, but it's pretty. I want to have purple trees in my yard. Pavilion. There you go. Not a pagoda. <laughs> it's a pavilion. Set the record straight. Bridge. Huh? I had that right. And look, that's it for the cards. Or decorations. Okay. Uh, and the last thing that came in that box the minis. So let's check these guys out. And then we're going to check all this rando stuff that came. I'm guessing all the add-ons I bought. Okay, so just to confirm, yep, those go on the base of those. Now, I'm not going to put that there now. I'm pretty sure there's a reason they're not attached already. So this looks like the, I don't know what is the emperor. I don't know who these people are, but so the minis are very simple. They're not very sharp, but they're teeny tiny. You know, certain minis that are, how can I say, they're, they're very sharp and crisp and nice, nice. They're like the detail on them. Mwah. And then there's other minis like this, which look more like they're carved out of butter. You know, they're soft. Like they're, they're still pretty. They serve their they serve their purpose. This game's not a game about the minis necessarily, which is fine. I think the level of detail in these minis is perfect for this game. I don't think it needs to be any more than what they are. Don't get me wrong, they're still pretty good for considering how small they are. But you want to see really small detail, check out like um, either Hate or Rising Sun from uh, Come On. Oh, those are crazy detailed. And it was it, there's one, there's one, um, I can't remember what it's been a while since I played Rising Sun, where the one character, Minnie, has a little teeny tiny person on his back and you can make out everything. It's so good. But you know, the smooth, delicate nature of these 
I think kind of just fits the theme, you know? So I'm not, I'm not knocking on these. I'm not knocking on these. I think actually that one, I think that one looks pretty good actually. I, I like, I like these minis. I do like these minis. I think they match the environment that they're for. I think this game is going to be beautiful on the table. And it's a beautiful concept of a game. Guy kind of reminds me of like Jean-Luc Picard. I've been watching a lot of Star Trek recently. Just watched Picard. The whole thing. Ten episodes. Loved it. Uh, so that made me uh, go back to rewatch uh, Star Trek Generation, or Next Generation, which I've already seen the entire series through three times. If I watch it through again, this will be my fourth time. Brittany hasn't really seen it. Now, she's seen Picard with me. She doesn't know who any of the characters are. She didn't know who Data was. But yet, she loved Star Trek Picard. I'm saying something about the show. But we're not here to talk about Picard or Star Trek. We're here to talk about Tang Garden. He's got a little book. He's thinking. He's a thinker. That's a student? Oh, this guy looks, he's got, he's got a big hat and a long beard. You know, that means he's wise. And, he, and you can, the clincher is that he carries his hands behind his back. It's what the wisest of the wise men do. Oh, that's, I think that's our poet. Just everything about this game is very gentle and delicate, so don't, that comment I meant about the butter minis, I'd say this is one of the few cases where I don't mind that in the least. I think it actually, it just, it doesn't distract from everything else. Oh, something I wanna do before I put these guys away. They go in there. How cool is that? Look, you see it through the window. <sighs> I love that. Now where you got the bridge. Oh, you can stand on the bridge. Have a nice view of everything. I think that's really cool. Okay, now, let's check out everything that didn't come in that box. This is gonna get messy. All right, well, first of all, we have these, which we don't need to get into these. We all know what plastic sleeves look like. It looks like we got sleeves for the small cards and the big cards. So that is done. Then we got, what is this? Oh, some more trees. An apricot tree, eh? That's a pretty looking tree. Because these are the add-ons I added on. Ooh, that's a pretty tree. I like that tree. Tree assemble. Let's give it. Yeah. There you go. Nice. And then we got a bunch of cards for them. Is it just for this tree? Are they all the same card? Nope, they are not. How does this work? Oh, well, that's just something on the back of the box. Oh yeah, it's two decoration cards of uh, each language. Okay, that makes more sense. Okay, so put that aside. So you know, I read the rule. I don't know what happens if you, if there's two cards of each. I'm assuming you just can't, if somebody's already taken it and you get that card again, I'm assuming you just can't take the tree. So these look, come on. Ah. Get in there. Yeah. Swans that 
pretty. Yes. So I'm assuming this is a bunch of different languages. I know that language. That is of the English. So yeah. So same card in multiple languages. And then there is our swans. Put that in there. I really want to know what's in here. I'm assuming metal coins. Let's see this. Ooh, that's, let's listen. That's heavy. That's heavy. Ooh, it's a pretty bag. I like it. I can't remember what podcast I was listening to where they said they hate bags that have the game's name and logo on it. I like it. That's a really pretty bag. Same on both sides. I like that pattern. It's 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 like a a canvas. I don't know materials, but it's not that uh, velvet velveteen or whatever the hell that <laughs> material is called. Okay, so we got. First, I want to do this. this. Yeah. Oh, these are heavy. So we got some metal coins to, re to replace the cardboard ones. These are nice. Let's look at each. Let's look at, here's a fiber. And then we got 20. Our one. Where the? What? And, yeah, was our one. And a 10. These are nice. You can feel the, uh, the etchings on them. Okay. Or the raised embossings on them. I just gotta toss them in the bag as is. Is it bag just to carry the money? Because I don't recall any sort of blind, you know, like blind draw type of thing. So I'm assuming it's just a pretty bag to hold your metal coins in. Okay. And now we got two additional characters. We got the Wayfarer and the Herbalist. Let's check out the Herbalist. Right. I like the art on the box, but I won't be keeping this box. So, I'll see if I can find it, or I might if I can't find a place for her. I don't know if she's gonna fit. Maybe, maybe I can find room for her in the box. I don't know. You know what? Until, until I know for sure. Let's make sure this is uh, ready to put her back. So this is our herbalist. She got a green base. Okay, I can't seem to snap that on right now, but that's okay. The lever guys is. Put that in there and snap that back in. And then she's got her. Oops, she popped up. What is this? So, oh, there's stuff on there. So these are like really light wooden chips, but they feel like extremely light, like they're filled with air. And I guess those are herbs? They just they're like a bunch of plants. I don't know what you do with these. She she has instructions. I'm assuming. Yeah, I like the artwork on her. So now we're opening the Wayfarer. I'll be honest, I don't know what that is. Wayfarer, is that like a, like a traveler? Does he, like a traveling salesman? Does he just, uh, is, is it like, like what's uh, Kung Fu, the legend continues? Or the original, I think it was just called Kung Fu. He just travels and solves crime, kicks ass. 
Ooh, I like his artwork. It looks like it's right out of Mulan. I like him. I don't know. I'll have to think about what those do. Yeah, there's all the different languages. And I'm gonna leave his little red chip in there. You know what the plastic bit looks like. It's very tough to put in, but there he is. Let me get these cards out of the way. He's carrying his little stick. Okay, toss him back in there. His cards. Okay, so that was it for the core box and all the little extra bits. So let's get this thing back up. Let's see what's in these two and let's wrap this up so I can play. All right, now that we got that camera out of the way, let's check it out. She looks like she's feeding a dragon. Oh, she's got like a the dragon on her umbrella. It's like a pet dragon. Who doesn't want a pet dragon? If he was my pet dragon, I'd call him Mushu. Just like in Milan. That's Eddie Murphy, right? It's been a while. It's been a long... I think I've only seen Milan once. I liked it. And, uh, uh... Milan and Mushu is all I remember. Now this is Tangarden Golden Age. What's in here? All right, let's enjoy it. Short but sweet. Again, another beautiful box art. Ooh, just noticed this dragon has like tree branches growing on the side of his head. Very uh, spirited away. I dig it, I dig it. Let's put that over there. Doesn't want to stay. Let's put that over there. All right, so we have um, some additional rules. I, uh, yeah, okay. As far as the expansions go, I have no idea what's happening here. So these are gonna have to be read. It's more landscapes, more a bunch of stuff in there. So we got just a simple Two page additional rules or reference. We got more tiles. Look similar to the ones we've already seen. Yep. Oh, that's new. Check it out. I don't know what those do. Because they're the lantern abilities, you can tell by the back. And since we're here, Let's just zoom past these locations in case there's anything different about them. You know, there's a lot of things in these videos that I don't notice while I'm opening and then I watch the video back and I was like, ooh, look at that. Never even noticed. Okay, so we got more landscape tiles. Heavy pieces of cardboard. Ooh, we got one die. What is this doing? I don't know what's happening in this game anymore. So we got one die. And we, you know what we gotta do? We gotta see if it works. Oh, it works. It works. Okay. So, it's a, it's a good thing. It's sharp. It's a sharp little orange die. Get a few different symbols on there. I don't know what any of that means. I know I won't get it tattooed on my body. Those are always interesting, interesting stories, aren't they? There's a lot of room here for I'm guessing that's when you take the tiles out. Maybe you can put extra tiles in here. Okay, so we got some more character cards. Hey, I can't get, get out. Okay, so we get more character cards and some more minis and plastic bits. Mm, nothing underneath that tray. All right, so that was a quick one. Let's get in close, take a look at those minis. Da-da. Okay, let's take a look at one of these extra decoration cards we have here. Let's see a butterfly. Okay. 
God, the art is just so, so pretty. Ooh, what does that do? I think that lets you maybe get a, get a lantern back. That's nice, worth zero points, but that's a nice little bonus. Okay, so a few of those, butterflies. A duck, but not just a, a duck, the cutest duck ever. A bonsai tree. Looks like there's a lot going on with the bonsai tree. Ooh, that's a pretty fountain. That's a pretty base. Everything about this game is pretty. Okay, so those are all the new decoration cards. Put those in here. Hope the sleeve, the sleeve package I bought has enough to, for these too. There you go. Ooh, more character cards. I was hoping there was more character cards because uh, the online stuff I saw, I liked the variety they had, but I wanted more. I like, I like games that offer a, a lot of character variety, uh, variations because it always just adds so much more to gameplay. Emissary, the gardener. Geomancer, the literate, ooh, the musician, the nobleman, and the Tao priest, and the princess. Such pretty art, such pretty art. This game is just such a beautiful game. Okay, so yeah, oh, you already saw this. You already saw the die in there. And you've seen these. We don't really need to take these out of the bag. You get the, well, they're different colors here. You know what? Two seconds. More earth tony colors to these ones. And then we got our tiles. Maybe we just leave them in here. I'll just show you from here. Ooh, a tiger facing off against a dragon. Crouching tiger, hidden dragon, am I right? It looks like the similar landscape to where the that elk, elk was looking at me. So pretty. Oh, those are little ducks that we can get. Sorry, I just want to see those landscapes again. So those are butterflies, our little vase, vases, vases, our bonsai tree. Okay, oh, I didn't see that one either. Okay, looks like the airport, which wouldn't make sense. So there's no planes, but there's dragons. Maybe that's the landing strip for dragons. That'd be cool. It's Pixar's next movie. Oh no, DreamWorks next movie. All right, so now let's check out these minis. This guy is very symmetrical. Okay. And this guy looks like he's Trying, he's about to knock on a door, but he's a little nervous. He's gonna ask a girl out. He's got his fingers crossed behind his back. That's his story. Called it. And this gentleman. Well, that's the priest. Can't see it. Oh, looks like he has um, in his hand, it's, what are those called? It's a little, ah, uh, like, sli they're not sli they're like, it's like a bunch of flavored crushed ice. It's crushed ice on a cone that's flavored. I don't know what they're called. I've only seen them on TV, actually. They're not something I grew up with as a kid. That's what that looks, that's what that looks like.
Yeah, there's our, um, I can't remember. The girl who writes things, I can't remember her name. Foreteller? No. Who's the foreteller? A litterer? No, that's litterer. That would be a person who litters. A literator. I think it was the literator. And that's our musician. She looks very rock and roll. Okay, and we have, oh, this is our princess. Okay, so that was all the minis, and that was everything I bought. Okay, so let's just put the, put the stuff in here. And I gotta tell you, once the unboxing's done, I'm gonna take a nap. I thought I wanted to play this. I do. I'm so tired. Okay, let's open up the last box. Ghost stories. Ooh, time to get spooky. Mm. Ooh, no, don't want to ruin it. There's a picture of a bunch of all the stuff on the back. Let's check it out. Ooh, this one's limited edition. Mind you, this is number 7,927. Okay. This is strong plastic. Man. All the boxes are just so glossy and pretty. It's got a nighttime thing going on here. Now it does say ghost stories. I know how clear you guys can see that on the camera. There's my limited edition number. Now as an old time collector, I'm a sucker for limited editions though. admire that box art. Super pretty. Now let's check out inside. Okay, so we got some... Oh, hey, hold on. This is... This rule book is thicker than the... Much thicker than the Core Games rule book. What's going on here? It's like a completely different game. The artwork's neat. Whoa, there's some awesome looking things. There's like foil pieces. Whew, I like foil. Remember what, uh, what I just said? <laughs> of course you'd remember, I just said it. Thing about being a sucker for collector's editions? Well, back in the 90s, comic books, they're all die cut and foil and glittery covers. And I just gobbled that up. Most of them are worthless now, but I just gobbled it up. I loved it at the time, it was so good. Okay, let's take a look inside this monster. It's a big book. It's a lot of references. I don't know what I don't know what those big like these things. It's, it was in the other book. I don't know what the story with these are. I don't know what's going on. I'll figure it out when I read it. Okay. There's a lot uh, here. It seems like most of it is this. So I'm hoping that's referenced. And it might be actually in different languages. No, it says English. Is that English in the end? No, it's not. That's why it's so thick. It's not just English. English is just the first language. And it repeats. Whew. I was like, no, I don't want an expansion that's got more rules in the core. That was close. But this, oh, we gotta see this up close. Now I'm right, look, there it is. I don't wanna waste it here. You gotta see this up close. It looks so good. What are those? Oh, it's got this like, blue reflective foil on, on it. So do those. It looks so good. We'll see it up close. It looks like a metal coin. There's so much goodness, goodness in here. There's another bag with a title on it. Oh man, there's a little cat. I don't have a mini cat. There's a mini cat. If you're a cat person, buy it. Another die for us to test. It's just the game that keeps on giving. And a bunch of these super light wooden bits. Oh, these look like upgrades to the uh, landmark or landscape tokens. If there's enough of these, 
then I should be able to use them in the regular game. I wonder how many of those there are. And under here, nothing. It was a one-time thing. It was a one-time thing. Ooh, and these are the lanterns. These for sure I can... Oh, nice. I like the upgrades. I like upgrade bits. Upgrade coins, upgrade things. Yeah. Look at it. Camera. And we're good to go. Okay. Uh, first, I want to show you... I want to show you these. Not, not, not the big hefty book. Um, we'll start with these, but these aren't the ones I'm, I was all ooing and awing over. But you can't see it. I don't know if you can make it out on the camera. That's like a reflective blue foil. I don't know why it's there, but I like it. Because why? Because I'm a sucker for that stuff. How much of a sucker am I? First of all, you familiar with Star Realms? battling card game they just their kickstarter not too long ago where they give you like all the star realm cards but they're all like the foil collector's editions versions of the cards i got scooped that up right away right away you know thing is though um those are probably not going to read too well on camera it's gonna be reflecting everything Like these tiles. Okay, here's the pretty ones. I'm gonna pop. No, I'm gonna pop these out. See the reflective? I think you can make it out. All the blue is like a like a reflective um, foil material. Nice. It's got the same image on the back. Just sands all cool foil. It's like a dragon ripping through a hole. I don't know what this is about. But look, it's got like extra things there's a lot more to this tang gameplay than just a garden or maybe it's still just a garden but there's a lot going on here that looks like wood and scales and then there's these these things i don't know what any of this is but they got a dragon they got what looks like a phoenix gorgeous and there's the the back we got a tiger Unless they all have a different thing here. Whatever that is. Like thing, because I don't know what they're what they mean. It's like a snake and a turtle. Okay. Oh, we got another tree. You know, I like the trees. I wonder if I can combine the photosynthesis trees in there. Mind you. These trees are thick. I think they would they would just crush the photosynthesis trees. If there was like a like photosynthesis trees might have them on numbers. But as far as sturdiness, like I think these could take a real storm. Ooh, I think that one's my favorite looking tree when it's combined. Yeah, that's the prettiest one so far. That's my favorite tree. Oh, there's those little symbols that are on the Oops. On these things. Whatever those are. The same on both sides? Yes. Alright, now let's take a look at our environments. Desolate. Yep. These are spooky. Okay, I get the ghost story things now. I get it. It's coming. It's making sense. Like a phoenix? Like the Great Wall? The Great Wall? The art on that is great. It's just... The like art on this, all, all this, this entire game is just... Oop, nope, don't mix those. Just awesome. Alright. What to look at now? The bag. Another bag. Ooh, I like it. I like me a good bag. Again, it's that same canvas material. And these are gonna be fun to handle. Open this one in. Okay. Oh yeah. Super light. And these are the same, yeah, these are your lanterns. Just like upgraded versions of them. They, they feel weightless. These things are so light. So yeah. 
There's, well, the back one will look the same. It'll look like that. A little scuffed up. Oh, that's fine. This doesn't really bother me, actually. So there's the one where you get, you get to play two decoration cards. There's one where you get to play two tiles. There's one that I don't know what it does because it's from the expansion. Uh, I think that's from this for solo play. What else we got here? That's the one that lets you look through the uh, character cards and the landscape cards, I believe. It's the same, I'm trying to find the different ones. Again, I think that is for solo play. I'm trying to find the different ones here for you. I get, that's one of the ones from the expansion, I believe. So, oh, that's the one that lets you move your character on the board. Is that all of them? This one might be different. Yeah, I think that one's different. So I'm guessing that's for solo play. Okay, so give me a second to put these away. And now, ooh, that must be the first player token. I got over the the cardboard one. You know, I like when Kickstarters have these like boxes filled with like a bunch of little upgrades. I very much, I very much like that. Keep doing that, Kickstarter. If you guys from Kickstarter, any games going on Kickstarter, you're wondering, should I, should I not have a box full of just cool upgrade materials? Do it. Do. At least for me. These are also lightweight and they are replacements for the landscapes stuffs. And I have no idea what that is. Creepy Donnie Darko mask. I don't know what that is. So there's our large landscapes. And here are our small landscapes. Ooh. I like how they have that just like freehand painted like brush painted look. All right, so we'll get rid of these. Put them in there. Some cards, die, and some minis. All right. Just because I'm a completionist. There you go, more of those. And the die, you know what we gotta do. Does it work? This one might not work. This one's pretty crazy. It's very lightweight. It's got a lot of these symbols that I have no idea what they are. There's all the ones on that side. All the ones on that side. And it's very light. I don't know if this one could work. Will work. Whoa. Well, will wonders never cease? It works. It works. Amazing. And now we've got decoration cards. The backs are the same, and the fronts are not the same. Let's look at the artwork. Ooh, the artwork on that's pretty. It's like a, well, it's a spectral tree. That's why it's so pretty. Oh, that must be what this is. Pretty. I like that one. That's my favorite tree. Ooh, an elgato. We got a cat. Gato. Okay, so these, ah, I knew that one before I saw it. So these are all the same card in different languages. So the only two cards are the cat and the tree. Okay. So just put those away. And now let's check out our characters and then our minis and then we're done. And then I can either go nap or play Tang Garden. I'm not gonna lie, it's sounding like a nap night. Ooh, demon, are these all different characters? Oh no, damn it, I'm so excited. A lot of different languages. I like the artwork on him. He's yeah, creepy. Oh, oh, she's got the mask. She must be, oh, she's the fox spirit. I got the medium. 
How she see anything with a thing in front of her face? Might she got a, like a, she got a C and I, ghost serpent. So that probably helps. He's cool. These these guys are all very spooky, dead looking. He looks like a terracotta soldier before they get all terracotta. Okay, so the rest are the same artwork in different languages. Makes going through that box a lot faster. And now, I'm guessing the minis are all in one language. And that language is gray. Actually, no, they're also coming black. Okay, so there's our soldier. Our demon. She's there. This is. Oh. <laughs> that didn't work out. We're trying to get these out of here and make a mess. Okay. Uh, there's our fox spirit. I think that's what she was. Her card is very pretty. Like the artwork, I mean. like And, and she was drawn also very pretty. Um, and now, this is our. I kind of like this one, the medium with the ghost snake. I need the snake, and this looks more wormy than snaky. Giant spectral worm. And now, last but not least, uh, although the least amount of plastic is, and my very first ever mini cat. Look, it's a little mini black cat. There's two of those in the in the package. Oh, cute little kitty. Hey, kitty, kitty, kitty. He's so cute. Okay, that's it. That was it. I think that was it. Yeah, we're done. Let's put that. To that. Where'd that come from? Yeah, I can't. I don't want to get these mixed up. So let's just before I sign off, just do that and that, and then we're good. I'm gonna turn that off. Thank, there you go. Thank you guys for. I gotta get so these things bothering me. Okay. <laughs> Thanks guys for joining me. That was. I I can't wait to play this. If I'm not playing that tonight, it's because I'm napping. Uh, but I will be playing this tomorrow. I cannot wait. I am not looking forward to putting everything back in the box properly. But I really. I really had a blast. If it doesn't show, it's because I'm tired, but thanks for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this as much as I did. I will see you next week. And don't forget, stay home, stay safe. Eventually, all this chaos will be over with and we'll be able to leave the house and hang out with our friends and play board games again. See ya. Thanks for joining us. If you like this video and you want to see more, subscribe to our channel. It's the best way to keep up to date with everything we do here at Board Game Coffee. But if you want to see more right now, we got plenty of videos to choose from. And if that's not enough, follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. I'm Mark Maya, and this is Board Game Coffee. And remember, have fun, keep gaming, be social. See you next week.